And welcome back to Hannity. President Obama's first term was filled with countless scandals that we've exposed right here on this program. But the so-called journalists in the mainstream media, they chose to ignore them. Now, some of them include the botched Fast and Furious operation, the disastrous half a billion dollar loan, a cylinder and other, quote, green companies, and more recently, the Benghazi cover up. So the big question I have is, will the media continue to turn a blind eye to the administration's missteps over the next four years? Joining me now is well known to be an investigative journalist, wrote the best-selling book, The Price of Politics. Bob Woodward is here. I have a question. Can you name a sure. single time in this campaign, which has been long, it's, it takes a long time to do these campaigns, where Barack Obama directly was asked, Mr. President, you said you would cut the deficit in half in your first term. You gave us six trillion dollars in debt. How do you explain that? I've looked. I can't find it. Can you remember any time that's happened? I, I, I cannot uh, directly. But you know, you were talking earlier on the show about realism and uh, this line that somehow the mainstream or liberal media. Uh, did uh, Romney in and really was helping Obama, I just don't think uh, comports with the facts. Can I give you some examples if you can stand it? I, I, I can stand it, but, but it's very good. But I want to say one thing before you get to your list, and sure. I, won't I promise I won't stop you. Um, yeah. If the president said I'd cut the deficit in half in my first term and then gives us $6 trillion in debt, and he said Bush was unpatriotic and irresponsible for $4 trillion in eight years, the fact that he can go an entire election, Bob, and not be asked that question, to me, is media. It's, it's not only bias, it is abusively so, and it's frankly dereliction of duty. Well, well first of all, I, I agree that there should be uh, aggressive questioning and accountability of the president of, of all candidates. But look, the, the most uh, memorable event in the last six weeks in the campaign was the first debate, October 3rd, when Obama did very poorly. The mainstream media, the liberal media, whatever you want to call them, hammered him for it. Uh, in fact, uh, it didn't let up until uh, maybe a day before election. Second point, the fact checkers like Glenn Kessler at the Washington Post, my newspaper, did a great job in People have analyzed, and he, and he was hard on Romney, hard on Obama, giving him uh, four Pinocchios for something that's in my book, uh, where Obama in one of the debates said yeah. on sequestration, which yeah. is an awful word, uh, automatic spending cuts. Obama said, it's just not true. Hey, look, I, this wasn't my idea. The Congress came up with it. I have chapter and verse detailed meetings who's there and it was all uh, a white house uh, idea could i give you I, an I example the, uh, sure uh, no i'm and, and I'll, i will concede your point on the washington post pinocchio's distributed kind of evenly there was some good there was some good work there i'm not i, I won't disagree. There's some, some it, excellent work all right but but uh, if you didn't see the first debate as a total, complete knockout even the president admitted it i'm not sure i give him a lot of credit there in light of this that we don't know to this day where the president was, what he knew about requests for security before, during, why he wouldn't acknowledge it's a terror attack after, why CBS Steve Croft held the tape till the day before the election that proved that what he said was a lie. And we don't know fast and for why did our government give guns to gangsters, drug dealers, criminals? We've yet to get an answer to that. Oh, no, OK, look, I'm, I'm all for getting answers and for getting to the bottom of it and digging mm -hmm. into it. Let me just give you an example. Some people close to Romney a couple of weeks ago just showed up at my house and said they had somebody in a very sensitive position in the U.S. government who was willing to meet with me and give me information about Benghazi. Right. Appointments were broken. The guy didn't show up. He finally showed up. Uh, and he, he didn't have anything where he had any first-hand knowledge. He said, you ought to talk to this person and that person and, and so forth. So, Oh, I bet you would look into it. People are digging into it. But let me ask you this. Do you, we don't know where the president was on the night of 9-11 when this happened. We don't know what he knew. He denied for two weeks what, was, what we know our State Department watched in real time. According to the, this woman, the, the, Lamb, who testified. Immense inconsistencies and unanswered questions. The Washington Post 
editorialized on this and said we really ought to get some answers and well, we, we ought didn't. to uh, That's my point. dig into it. We didn't. And, you know, you can't write uh, if you don't have anything. But uh, when I work on one of these projects or books, it takes months and years I to develop the sources and get the documentation. Anyway, my third example, if you'll bear with me, is coverage of the economy. Every time uh, the unemployment number was bad or the story about the growth of the economy and how anemic the recovery was, was covered incessantly by the mainstream media. The economy was the number one issue uh, because that data uh, was, was filtered through us. I would give you one correction on that, and, and I'm not trying to be nitpicky or parse words with you, that if the media did point out and did a better job of pointing out if the labor participation rate uh, were that which Obama inherited in January 2009, the real unemployment rate is 10.7 percent. They never, they never gave the context to my satisfaction. But I know. Okay. But I. But you. Nope. You make some points. But I think Benghazi, Fast and Furious, uh, uh, and not answering very direct questions about the debt and deficits. I think the media failed the American people. Okay. Here, I mean, bo bottom line yeah, for me, and I think you would agree for this. The thing we should worry about the most is secret government concentrations of power in the White House, yeah. in Congress, in the CIA, un Federal Reserve that is where those people who are running those institutions are not held accountable so we need right. more aggressive tough stuff the liberal the liberal blogs will beat you up for even coming on my program thank you for being here bob woodward okay thank you appreciate it pat buchanan juan williams